The first subject is jobs. Who wants to come in that? Glenn. There were loads of jobs I wanted uh, when I was a kid, uh, whether it was starting up a Ouija board business with my great-great-great-great-great-great-grandfather... <laughs> or, ..or becoming a, a detective like Poirot or Craig David's girlfriend's parents in Fill Me In. <laughs> I, I always wanted to be a movie star, you know, like a proper method actor like Eddie Murphy, cos, you know, Eddie Murphy is so method and, and so committed that to get into the role of a vet in Dr Doolittle, uh, Eddie Murphy actually spent ten years starring in lots of other shit films. <laughs> It's so expensive everywhere you go if you don't have a job, you know? Like, I stopped getting haircuts after a while because there's hidden costs even when you get a haircut. Like, you think you're paying for just the haircut, and then at the end of the haircut, the hairdresser does that really annoying thing where they try and convince you to buy one of their mirrors and go, oh, what do you think of this? <laughs> do you know what I say? I say, I don't want to buy one of your mirrors. I want you to wash my hair at an angle I've otherwise never been at. <laughs> So expensive everywhere you go. Like, I used to get the bus to work every day. Get this, £29 per bus journey. £29 per bus journey is insane. And not as insane as this woman who used to sit on the top deck every day with a microphone telling us where in London we were. <laughs> well, £29 per bus journey, you can't even afford a roof. <laughs> it takes three and a half hours to get between Buckingham Palace and Westminster, neither of which are places I work at. <laughs> But, you know, for the first time in my life, I thought I've got a job. I can buy things. I can buy things for my room. I can buy a chest of drawers and a desk lamp and a flashing neon halal sign for my window. <laughs> and when you get a job, you think, oh, great, now I'm a proper grown-up. Next step, getting married, having kids, so I can be one of those proper adults who can call themselves on Facebook and LinkedIn a father to two amazing daughters, mother to three amazing sons. And I can't call myself that because I don't have those kids and people don't really like it when I call myself a nephew to three gorgeous uncles. LAUGHTER